was really scary to go out there and, and face people. Um, you know, I, I, we had kept this secret for so long and now, you know, my folks were gone and I was here by myself and I felt like I needed, I didn't really know what to do. <laughs> and nobody came to check on you? No, no, no one came. I waited, I did wait. You know, I, I, well, at that moment I, I cried and it was upsetting and then I, my dad had mentally prepared me for a long time. My dad was always like a, a doomsday kind of guy, uh, still is. And so he would say, you know, when the day comes, and I'm like, Dad, why are you saying that? Like, stop saying that you're gonna, be, that, that I might walk in one day and you won't be there. Um, but Dad was a realist, and he's like, well, this is our reality, and this is what we're living with. Um, so he had mentally prepared me and told me what to do, and so right after that I said, okay, Diane, you need to think quick. What are you gonna do? And so I just, I just picked myself up. I, I got the phone and I called um, uh, some close friends and, and they came over right away. Um, and we waited there to see if any government official would come. We didn't want to further break the law. Um, but no one, no one came. So I, I saw no other option but to go with them and, and stay with them until I, I got a call um, from someone.